Hello, it's Sarah, and I just wanted to give you an update on my journal soup, the class that I'm taking with Kate Crane. She is an English artist, mixed media artist. Um, the class is on Vimeo, Vimeo, and I will put the link in the description box. Excuse my hands, I have paint all over me. Um, this is page three, I think. Um, I shared page one and two. One is over there. Here's two. Wasn't crazy about two. This is three. This was so much fun. Um, she's got us drawing our own little whimsical figurines now. So um, this is a, a little image that she's given us the downloadable and instruction to draw her. And so I did. I didn't have um, colored pencils at the time. So I just used my, and I may have even sh shared this one in um, my previous video, but I just used my um, Tim Holtz Distress Markers. So I love how it turned out, and I'm getting the hang of the wet, the wet on wet um, painting in the background. So that's that one, and then this one I did today. I mean, I'm good with it. I think I went really dark with the face color, um, and I did do it in my own style. Uh, so I floated it instead of doing the wet on wet blending. Um, but I mean, it's okay. She's, um, see, I did a little bit of shading with a pencil too because she mixes it up. She did, a, we painted it onto the card um, after base coating it, you know, doing some. But look how she like, when you have wet paint on the surface, she scratches marks in it. And it's just the coolest thing ever. So this was scratched into the paint, and then I, you know, then you doodle. Like, this cross hatching was scratched into the paint. Um, this is just a cap lid. Oh, and I put stickle. No, I put Wink Estella, and it still seems wet. Um, but it says, sometimes all you need is a nice cup of tea. And she's English, so that's very... Um, my mom was English, too, and that's... I love listening to her. She has the most lovely accent. Um, so I love it. This is just um, getting the hang of it, blending colors and making doodles and just being free. Um, so this was a, our second little um, whimsical image that she's taught us how to draw. Um, so that was number four. Um, five was this one. And I didn't really have uh, the appropriate stamps, I don't think. It looks really busy. But you know what we did this one with? A jelly plate. So she also shares in her tutorial um, a way you can get this background without a jelly plate, plate just using your um, um, craft mat. Uh, and you can get it. You can build up the color. Um, so I did several of these. This was on my jelly plate because we didn't use a brayer. We used our fingers. So you take the jelly plate and you just put paint on it with your fingers and you get random marks and just keep and we did two at a time so let's see I think these two were the ones I did together um, and I'm just gonna save this but see I wrote this is basically she called this her graffiti um, technique so after you get your jelly plating on there you just graffiti all over it so you doodle everywhere and um, my my journaling says I am I am really enjoying this something class with Kate Crane. This online class with Kate Crane. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm getting there. This, I color ended up, I couldn't get this stamp. Because the background is so busy, she wanted you to do it with a, like a more dark stamp, something that would stamp black. And that's really all I had. I didn't have... Um, I don't have a lot. I have more coloring stamps, you know. Um, and it just says enjoy the journey. And we put some washi down here to set him down. And um, these big caps, we just, um, and actually this is a cookie cutter. Just journaled around that and a bunch of doodling. But um, then the other one I did do, I did several because I was trying to, hers, I put so much paint. I really couldn't get it light like hers. And this was a different one I did with different colors, and it just says journal soup. I tried to do a little cover page and use some of the stamps that I made, this one and this one. 
so I'm enjoying it though it's so fun I'm really able to I get it like I get that I can just relax and um, this is just another one that I doodled high curve um, I had others here they are so these were just some examples of different jelly plate prints this one I just it was crazy so I just went back over it with a bunch of blue to calm it down and I kind of like how it turned out now and then this one you know I didn't do anything with it but this is just so you can tell this is the blue is the negative of a um, stencil and the red or it's actually burgundy wine is the going over it with a stencil so these can both be doodled on now or whatever but they're basically just jelly prints but they're done with finger painting so you can see it's just like swipes of color instead of like being briared on there so yeah and then she likes to add um, copper and she just I wrote play create and just doodled and in the she likes adding black with a palette knife and you just kind of scrub it on there and don't I'm not afraid now I used I was <clears throat> but now I just kind of get it on there and so I'm enjoying it um, so that's it I have one more it's a little owl a quirky owl we're gonna be doing and uh, then this journal soup is over I did do I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I did do some sprays on this little um, matchbox and so maybe I'm gonna do a little image on here and put it on there Kate is doing her next class is something like this I don't think she did it like this though um, but uh, the next one is this little owl Whoops. that's Kirby Kirby stop and that'll be it for this class but I did want to Kirby come come go that way go that way that's what I got today I don't know if you can see it pink clay so I got two of this color two of this color and one of this color and I'm thinking probably, well, this week, definitely. Today's already Wednesday. It's going to be rainy here in New Jersey all weekend. We're expecting a hurricane this weekend. I don't know where it's going to hit yet. But um, after I finish that little owl page, which I think I'll probably do tomorrow, and then my classes will be done, um, I'm going to do some tiles. And I think I'm going to stamp... Someone had left um, a comment, and I'll return. I'll do the comment. But this one with the hope, I'm gonna do. I just figured I can stamp them in light pink clay instead of um, white clay. So I'm just gonna do everything in pink clay, and it may not show up as well. Um, I think all the words because if I use black ink, if I stamp these with black ink, it'll show up on this color. So I'll probably stamp this one in this color this and that color and then I got some uh, buttons these are just called courage and hope and there's a bunch of different um, buttons in here that I'm going to use I opened one pack um, and I'm going to embed some of the things but I'm also going to use them as stamps and try to like look at this this one's pretty I'm going to make a, a, a tile with this on it I love that and then these I might just try to stamp into the clay because my stamp that I made probably won't but I got the, um, these at uh, Michael's today yeah I got these at Michael's today so um, and I got the clay the clay is buy five get them for like 50 cents less or something I forget um, so I got five of them but I'm, I'm looking I think this is going to be cool I think this is going to be really pretty if I do it with all pinks and maybe throw in some white clay like I'll paint a few of mine I have them all ready to go um, but I love like it says family love look at this one has hope so I'll embed that in clay let's see if I embed it it might look better in see this might look better in white so we'll have to see you know um, but I think I'm gonna keep it or gold or silver I don't know 
Nah, gold or silver? No. I don't know. It depends. I'm going to see what I come up with. So I'm definitely going to be doing some clay. Getting the clay out finally. Um, all right, you guys. So this has just been so much fun, though. I have to say, I've learned so much. I can actually make a um, whimsical face. And, I mean, it's not hard. So hopefully after the class, I'm going to get back in my art journal and start playing with some of these techniques. Um, and definitely playing with my sprays because I love them. I love the bright color that you get with those sprays. So, all right, you guys. Thanks for watching.